I'm kind of lucky I get to buy and sell a lot of guns now that I've got a pawn shop and I've always had a fascination with anything where I thought I was getting a lot for my money. And here a while back Glock came out with a new uh, gun. It's a Vickers Tactical Edition of the Glock 17 and the 19 and I picked them up. Let me turn this light on see if I can get my... Uh, see if I can get my light on here. This is the uh, 17. And uh, it's pretty much a regular Glock 17 Gen 3, other than it does have a two-tone RTF2, which is rough textured finish, too, uh, on it. And then it comes with some additional parts. It comes with a, uh, a uh, extended mag release and an extended slide stop, a slide release, and then a couple of Tango Down uh, mag pads. Now, all of those parts are parts that you put on yourself. Um, they come with the factory OEM parts in there and then you, um, you put those in. It's real simple. It takes about 15-20 minutes. In addition though, it comes with what I think is the deal maker on it in that it comes with the uh, Wilson Combat U-shaped uh, Vickers tactical sight with the tritium insert in the front. And uh, I picked this gun up in a Glock 17 and also picked it up in a Glock 19. And I'm going to go to the range today and uh, shoot each one of those. This is the uh, 19. It's, as you can see, I mean, it's virtually identical. Everything, same parts, same uh, upgraded sights. Everything's the same on it, except that the uh, obviously it's it's the version of in a 19 instead of in a 17. So it holds a couple less. I believe it's got a slightly smaller frame. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna run out to the range, shoot these, and I'll be back with some final thoughts on these and. Uh, you know, like I say, if they perform like I think, they're an incredible bargain. And I'll kind of run through in my follow-up on, on what I think you're getting for the money. I'm going to start with the uh, 17 <clears throat> and uh, run through it first. I'm going to shoot at the plates, and then I'll try to shoot a group with it. And then I'll go back and shoot the 19. I imagine they're going to be almost exactly the same gun other than obviously a little bit of difference in the size but I suspect the overall shooting and everything will be about the same on them. Anyway I'm going to run a bad through each one just kind of check them for reliability. I'm going to use some full metal jacket first and then some critical defense uh, just to make sure it cycles what I keep in it for the regular defense ammo. Actually not too bad. I'll see if I can just kind of zoom this in and not have to move the tripod so much. Pretty good group. That's the first time I ever shot it. Uh, typical Glock trigger. Great reset. I believe they're at five and a half pounds. Uh, obviously I hit the silhouette or the uh, metal plate five for five that's not a very hard shot from uh, that's about 12 yards and I mean that's a probably a foot a foot or bigger plate but like I say the the group's not bad either I'm gonna do the same thing with the 19 and see how it shoots it's gonna be the same basic thing with the 19 
pretty good group uh again i've never claimed to be a target shooter that's my first run through with the 19 those were both with some uh just remington hardball from walmart but as you can see that's pretty good i'm going to shoot them a little bit more and then i'll turn the camera back on one last time and try to see if i can tighten those up just a little bit uh but anyway like i say that was the vickers 19. Open that up a little bit, but that was 15. I didn't realize I had 15 in there. Uh, anyway, again, like I say, I get a, I get an awful lot of criticism, a lot of kind of hateful remarks about my shooting, but I, I don't think that's too bad. I mean, I think that's plenty capable of self-defense. There looks like I did get one just outside. I'm would took took his ear off on that one, but anyway, uh, I think that's plenty good. And uh, like I say, it's my first day with those guns. Man, I sure do like them. I love those sights. I think that's probably the best hundred bucks a guy can spend uh, paying the upgrade to get that Vickers over the regular one if you can still find one. I know they're going quick. Anyway, I'll see you back at the house with some final thoughts. This is the uh, Vickers 19. The new Vickers 19 with the Wilson Combat sights and everything on it. I'm going to see if I can get, I haven't been shooting that much today, but I'm going to see if I can get any kind of decent group with it at all. That's a 10, and uh, actually for no more than I've handled this gun, I'd call that a pretty good group. I'm sure there's a lot of guys, I get a lot of comments that people aren't very impressed with my shooting, but like I say, I believe it's plenty accurate for self-defense. I'd have to call that pretty good. Uh, that's probably about as good as it's going to get with me, so. All right, I'm back from the range. And had a pretty good day. Um, the question I think that most people that look at these Vickers Glock tacticals want to know is, or Vickers tactical Glock, I guess it would be, is, you know, what am I getting for that extra hundred bucks? And uh, I think you're getting a lot. I, I shot them today. I'm going to talk about the 17 in, in particular here. I'm going to double check it just because since I've been at the range all day, I didn't want to forget and have an accident. Um, it's, it's pretty much a standard Gen 3 Glock, but it has the RTF2 finish, which is pretty desirable. I think it stops you from needing the grip tape. It comes with a uh, Vickers, which is, I understand, made by, I think, Tango Down is the company. A uh, Vickers mag release button, which is very slightly extended. I mean, you really, to look at it, you don't even hardly notice it, but you can tell it when you're using it. it I think it's just perfect. And it comes with the uh, slide release button that's also just very slightly extended. Neither one of them really overextended like a uh, maybe a range-only match gun or something. But, but they both work really, really well. Um, it comes with a couple of mag pads. But the big thing that it comes with, and I'm pretty sure I showed you earlier when I did uh, my little intro. But let me get this light on here. Uh, the big thing is it comes with a really cool set of uh, Wilson Combat sights. These have a U-shaped rear sight 
with a, a traditional, you know, kind of a blade with a, with a dot in it, uh, front sight. Man, they, they make for a great sight picture. And uh, the thing that I really like about it, I'm going to turn this light back off and go sit down. The thing that I really like about it is the, uh, the front sight's tritium, and they appear to be made out of uh, milled steel rather than the plastic. I'm not one of those Glock haters. I don't sit there and run down the Glock sights. Um, the Glock sights are fine. They're, uh, you know, they're, they're plastic, but they're very durable. I mean, I don't seem to have any trouble with them. Um, but I really like that. I think getting a, those options for about another $100 bump makes the gun, I think it's a better deal than buying all the parts separately and putting them on a standard Glock. Especially now if you want a Gen 3 RTF2, uh, you pretty much have to go to like Gun Broker and pay a little extra for it because I don't believe that's a gun they're making anymore. But uh, anyway, that was the 17, this is the 19. I'm just kind of going to combine those into, into one video because pretty much everything other than the size of the gun is identical. Same sights, same, um, same accessories. Both of them come with two magazines, come with a box with all the usual Glock stuff in it. Come with a couple of stickers, one says Vickers Tactical, one says uh, uh, Tango Down, I think. But uh, now one thing to keep in mind is you do have to put those parts in. Uh, for some people, that's intimidating. The, uh, I should have done a video on putting them in. For uh, putting in the slide release button, it's literally a matter of pressing a pin down, uh, sliding one out, sliding the other in. I mean, it's a five minute or less job. The, uh, the mag release is a little bit trickier in that it takes kind of a specialized tool you can make yourself or buy one, but it takes a tool with a little bit of a scoop in it to get the spring loose. Still, I have more trouble changing the magazine pads on a Glock. I hate to admit it, but I have trouble snapping those off. But anyway, um, th these things are a tremendous bargain. I think you saw they're a great shooter. Uh, there's just no doubt Glock is, you know, is, is as good as it gets on reliability. I like I say, I'm not a Glock fanboy. I don't have the hats and the tattoos and the stickers on my truck and all that. But I'm also not a basher. I've always maintained they were adequate for any job that, that well, they were ever used for. They're probably better than a lot of the guns out there. They're as good as any of them. Uh, you know, I, I just don't think Glock ever comes up second rate at the same time. I don't know that it's so much greater gun that it's necessarily maybe maybe justified in quite all of the the fan worship that it has, but who knows? I mean, I own several, so I, I'm like I said, I'm kind of lucky to be in the business. I kept for myself two 17s and a 19. Uh, I don't own a 42 because I own a lot of other 380s, but I, I also own a 27 and and a 30 and a couple of the Glocks. So I mean, like I said, I'm definitely I am not a Glock hater. Anyway, if you decide you want to buy a Glock and you're interested in some add-ons and you can find one of these, take a look at them. I think they sell anywhere from around $600 to $650. And I believe they're a bargain. Anyway, thanks a lot. I'm going to keep trying to get some videos up. Maybe even try to do a little bit of political stuff. Um, I, I don't make holsters anymore. I, again, I want to thank anybody that bought one from me. But... I kind of got out of that. I just got too much other stuff on my plate. But anyway, you guys shoot safe, and I'll see you with some more gun reviews pretty soon.